Igbo tones. Igbo is a tonal language. So one word could mean more than one thing, depending on the intonation. Our first example is the word spelled a -kwe -a. In Igbo, the tones are assigned to the vowel sound. So for a -kwe -a, we have two vowels, a and a. So if we assign low tone to the first vowel and high tone to the second vowel, it becomes a kwa, a kwa. So a kwa is egg. So it's low tone and then high tone. A kwa egg. We have a kwa, which is low to the first vowel and low to the second vowel. A kwa is bed. Low, low. We have a kwa, which is high, low. A kwa is cloth. And we have a kwa, which is high, high. A kwa. A kwa is cry. For the sentence, ona kwa kwa. Ona kwa kwa. Notice the tone assignment. O na akwa akwa means she's crying. For the same wording, if we change the tone, it will become O na kwa kwa, which is she's sewing cloth or she sews cloth. So when you are asked, what does your sister do for a living? You can say O na kwa kwa meaning she's a seamstress or she sews cloth so but if you if you ask what does your sister do for a living and you say on a kwa kwa she can't be crying for a living so it is on a kwa kwa the same wording but in a question form on a kwa kwa so notice the or so here we have a low tone. If you say or, or means she's sewing cloth. But when you want to ask a question, it becomes low, low, low tone for the she. Or na kwa kwa. Is she sewing cloth or does she sew cloth? Same with or na kwa kwa. Notice the or. Low means you want to ask a question or you're asking a question. Or na kwa kwa. Is she crying? Oh, bere akwa. Now, bere. Iba akwa is to cry. E kwa kwa is also to cry. So you can either say bere akwa or kwara akwa. They mean the same thing. So let's use bere. O bere aqua, she cried. O bere aqua, did she cry? Notice O. Now, when you want to ask a question, she has to be low. O bere aqua, did she cry? O bere aqua. She cut cloth. Obere aqua. She cut cloth with a scissors or with a knife. Obere aqua. Did she cut cloth? Obere aqua. Did she cut cloth? Ezuru egoya. Her money was stolen. Notice a high. So you are you are giving information. You are not asking question. You're sure. So you say, Ezuru Egoya, her money was stolen. If you watch my video on pronouns, E is the impersonal pronoun in Igbo. When E is translated to English, it will be the passive voice. So that's why we have, her money was stolen. So Ezuru Egoya. Now, when you change the tone, 
a so instead of saying a you now say a zuru a goya so you're saying was her money stolen a zuru a goya was her money stolen e guaram you told me e guaram e is high e you high so you're giving information e guaram when you say e that is low e guaram did you tell me e guaram did you tell me? I, I think this is similar to english where you say um you told me and when you want to ask question you could say you told me when in you know so you change you change the tone so a guaram did you tell me for okay 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 is male so it's high 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 low okay is boundary Okay, is share or portion. Okay, low low. Okay, okay is rat. So it's low high. Okay, rat. Ak, ak is python. Ak. Ak that is high low. Ak is creator, so this is where you get Chineke, God the creator. So Ak creator. Ak Ak is the market day. Is in Igbo we have four days in a week. So Ak is one of those days in the Igbo week. So Ak is low high Ak. Now notice the the direction of the tone mark so when you have forward slash that is high when you have backslash that is low tone and when you have kind of hyphen that is mid mid tone so if you watch the last one where we have the market day that is a k is back backslash and forward slash that is low high generally when we write in Igbo we don't include tone markings because Igbo readers read in context so for example when you're writing about your chickens laying eggs or aqua so you don't need to turn mark aqua because chickens are known for laying eggs chickens are not known for laying cry which is aqua or for laying cloth which is aqua so when you write okokomire aqua you don't need to, to mark the aqua egg because the reader will read in context of what is this chicken laying right okay but where there are likelihood for confusion you need to, to mark to indicate what you mean and if your keyboard doesn't have the capability to to mark directly directly or your phone doesn't have that capability you can use the letter h l or m to indicate your tones so for example here we have ok which is male o k is high tone for the first for O for the first vowel and A high tone for the second vowel A so we have OK so you use HH to indicate that the first is high and the second is high when you, when you want to say boundary which is OK OK is high low so you use HL to indicate that O is high and A is low OK boundary okay share that's portion okay it's low low okay 
is low high that's rat okay rat ak python is high high ak ak high low creator ak ak market day or day of the week ak is low high ak that is the verb k to tie ek ak it could also be low high but here let's use low mid for ak so when you want to say ona ekenko na ekenko ona ekenko she's tying firewood ona eke in here she's tying something ona eke in here na eke tying okay i'm going to call bye